Hello, good morning. I'm Dr. David Sanchez, and we are going to start today with the EKG classes. This is going to be the first video, and we are going to talk about some cardiovascular anatomy and physiology to make easier the understanding of the EKG. Okay, so what's an EKG? An EKG is the recording of the electric activity of the heart. We have to remember that the heart is an electric organ. It has its own electric conducting system and it has its own components, you know? And so we have the sinus node, we have the interatria fibers, then we have the EV node, the his bundle with its two branches the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch this one with its two fascicles the anterior and posterior and ending in the Purkinje fibers okay then in the heart we have the upper chambers called the atria right atria left atria then we have the lower chambers called ventricles the right ventricle and the left ventricle. We have to know that the pace, pacemaker of the heart is the sinus node. The sinus node has specialized cells which are going to generate electrical impulses and they are going to travel along the heart. And then if we record this electrical activity of the heart if we record this electrical activity of the heart we are going to have um, the recording of this cardiac cycle in a piece of paper so that means that this cardiac cycle is one electrical complete electrical impulse from the heart how many electrical impulses the heart generates in a minute between 60 and 100 so if we record one minute of electric activity of the heart we are going to have between 60 and 100 these electrical these cardiac cycles okay so it's important to know uh, what represents each part of this cardiac cycle so in a cardiac cycle, we have waves, we have intervals, and we have segment. Okay, we are going to start talking about the P wave. The P wave is the first positive wave or deflection in the cardiac cycle, and that represents the atria depolarization. Then we have the waves Q. R and S. The Q is the first negative wave, then we have R, a positive wave, and then S, a negative wave. So this is called the QRS complex and represents the ventricle or ventricular depolarization. Then we have the T wave. The T wave represents the ventricular repolarization. Okay, then we have the intervals. The first interval is called the PR interval. And um, you have to measure since the beginning of the P wave until the beginning of the Q wave. Some, sometimes we get confused because we want to measure since the beginning of the P wave until the R wave which is wrong. Maybe it doesn't make sense at all the, the name or, you know, PR interval, you know, but we have to understand it in that way. So the PR interval is measured since the beginning of P until or before the Q wave, okay? Then we have another interval is the QT interval. Uh, you have to measure before the Q wave until the end of the T wave. That represents represents the ventricular 
depolarization and the ventricular repolarization. What represents the PR interval? Represents the atrial depolarization plus the delay of the electrical impulse in the AV node and his bundle. Okay? And then we have the ST segment. The ST segment is just a segment and represents the end of the ventricular depolarization and the beginning of the ventricular repolarization. Okay, I think it's important that we understand what part of this cardiac cycle represents. So we have to remember that the pacemaker of the heart, the sinus node, generates between 60 and 100 in electrical impulses per minute. If we record that electric activity in a piece of paper, we are going to have between 60 and 100 this cardiac cycle or electrical impulses. Okay, this is, this is the first class of the EKG. We are going to continue with the second class talking about some uh, cellular electrophysiology to try to understand a little bit more our EKG. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.